a community demanding answers about recent crime in the neighborhood. It's amazing that you guys have used that much force in kids in the neighborhood. Off the top tonight at 11, a packed meeting this evening with upset residents meeting with Ann Arbor police. The meeting comes after a murder investigation and a police standoff all in the same neighborhood. Jermont Terry was at tonight's meeting. Uh, a lot of people not very happy with what they heard tonight, Jermont. Yeah, Devin, that's because information is very limited. Now, you have to keep in mind that this murder happened right down two houses down here on Lillian, Lillian and right across the way here on Eli, that standoff took place. Now, police insisting that the two are not connected, but neighbors, they just wanted some reassurance. A packed community meeting in Ann Arbor as neighbors sound off about how Ann Arbor police responded to their neighborhood. Armed police everywhere. This image shows just how many technical units responded Monday night to Eli Street. A standoff got underway when a wanted man barricaded himself inside the house. He jumped out of the car with an assault rifle pointed at me. Right? Straight at me and asking me, who am I and what am I doing? Some neighbors feel police did a horrible job explaining what was going on for 12 hours. It's just amazing that you guys would use that much force in kids in the neighborhood. Nadia Ramlali came out to this meeting looking for clarity. They sent this guy who's not giving us any information. Information is limited not only to the standoff, but to the murder of longtime neighbor Richard Fortune, found in his house just five days earlier. Everyone's really surprised and can't imagine why someone would do that to him. Police insisting the incidents, despite happening days apart and houses away, are not connected. Investigators will not reveal how Fortune was killed, but no one is in custody. I expected that there was going to be, be some folks that were not going to be satisfied with, with what we had, but I can only share so much. This tight-knit community demanding better communication from police and looking for assurance they are safe. It's not my neighborhood that I'm worried about. It's the presence of all the cops that were there and not letting us know. Now, police do have a system in place that alerts neighbors via text message and email of serious situations like that standoff that happened here on Monday. They are urging residents to sign up so that they can be more informed with, through the cold red alert. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Well, Jermont, as for the murder, did police talk about whether or not they believe it was random or not? Devin, they did at least say that they do not believe that this was a random murder, but again, yeah. with no one in custody, it's not easing the fears of neighbors here. Yeah, understood. All right, Jermont.